Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Pagam Radian here at the Australian Embassy in Washington, D.C. that is hosting an extraordinary six companies from Australia, very innovative firms that are here in Washington to try to get investment dollars, uh, business uh, contacts, and more. And one of them is uh, David McKeeb, uh, who is uh, the co-founder of Curious Thing, uh, which is a fascinating Sydney-based company, 11 people uh, so far. And um, you're, you're the only company here, David, who uh, is trying to put me out of a job, uh, basically, <laughs> by automating um, automated questioning that you guys do, backed with artificial intelligence, both as a recruiting tool. Talk to us about the extraordinary system you guys have created, which is sort of an interviewing uh, tool from hell. <laughs> <It> <laughs> is. So we built an AI-driven digital interviewer. Uh, so that means that uh, for uh, hiring, uh, we can do behavioral interviews for all candidates. So, you know, what we found is talent acquisition, everyone's got a problem with getting talent. And we need to unlock new talent. We need to get, not just with the elite universities, we need to look to the next 3,000 universities actually in the US. And what's becoming more important is not your degree, it's actually lifelong learning, problem solving skills, grit, you know, prob you know growth mindset versus fixed. So what we're doing is a 20 minute uh, uh, computer driven oral interview, uh, driven out of the cloud. And um, it's it's really extraordinary because people will tell, uh, I was only joking about that, right? But I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's yeah. an interviewing juggernaut, right? Yes. Uh, because it's thoughtful, it's asking hard questions, and yet people will tell the automated system things, they wouldn't tell a human interviewer. Yes, we, we found that the user experience, so we never pretend to be a human. So this is always a machine driven uh, oral interview, uh, but we find that people commit and they talk to the machine, actually, uh, they personify the machine in their own way, and they tell it more than actually many people uh, do. I think the other thing that we found is that talent acquisition and talent retention is our biggest challenge, actually, facing. Whether it's getting more people in the STEM, whether it's actually, you know, what we need to do is unlock the potential of more people. Well, maybe, let me put it another way. If we think of a military, the, we think the competitive edge is in uh, weapons. Well, actually, that's one way. Actually, another way is our competitive edge is in our people. And we need to put together our people into high performance teams. We need to get the right people. That's the problem that we're solving. How do we hire better? Actually, how do we form teams? So this is called Moneyball. How do I take a bunch of normal people and put them together and build a higher performance team? And, and when you, so how are you processing all that information that you're getting, right? right? Because you're taking the man or woman out of the loop in the front part of it, which is asking the questions. But how do you automating the back end of processing all of this information and answers that you're getting to be able to get the most out of each one of these conversations? The, 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 the cloud is having better than we are, for right. example. So we see ourselves taking out bias. So there's a few things that can go wrong with these sorts of systems, and Amazon has actually done it badly about a year ago. So if you said, this is a perfect candidate, a white, nerdy male, and then the machine learning works that way, then you will end up with white, nerdy male. So you will put bias into the system. What we're doing is we score characteristics. So uh, lifelong learning, you know, we score them, and we allow actually the talent acquisition people to listen to the interview and actually look at those scores to find characteristics that they want to bring down further. So we're not saying this is a better person than that. We're, you still go through the normal interview. What we're doing is we're giving everyone a chance to actually you know, have a shot at the job. And, and uh, when you do your testing, right, I mean, you, you mentioned that AWS was doing it badly a little bit. How accurate is your rate of of the folks that you're interviewing and actually coming out with sort of the right assessment about whether or not they're the right candidate or not. So one thing that we're doing uh, is all talent acquisition have standard questions that they, they currently ask. So we're digitizing wow. that. Uh, so every every organization's got a different thought about what's going on. So it's not, we're not doing a psychometric test. Gotcha. That's actually later on. So if you want to do psychometric tests, we're actually digitizing what talent acquisition can't do. Actually, I was talking to a talent acquisition person. So, uh, I mean, you may not know, Salesforce has got to hire 6,000 people in the next year. Their talent acquisitions are hundreds of people. That's just for Salesforce. So if you're not Salesforce and you can't afford to compete with Salesforce, we actually need to find, unlock 
actually other talent, these other learning characteristics. But what we're not doing, so, so all the talent acquisition people are time limited. There's only so many 20 minute interviews you can do per day. I was talking to a uh, talent acquisition person for a major company. For 14 years, he's done 30 interviews a day for 14 years. Wow. He nearly cried. He said, oh, this is so good. <laughs> I don't want to ask those, because it's the same questions. Right, right. They're, they're asked, actually asked right. at the top of funnel, ask the same questions right. again and again and again. Right. Yeah. Well, some of us do like asking the same questions again and again and again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, so where do you want to be? Right. What do you want to get out of this uh, trip uh, to the United States? And where do you expect to be in five years? Yeah, so I think, uh, so, so we're a startup. Uh, actually, we're looking for customers. We would love to work with you know, large organizations with big talent acquisition problems. The, or organizations that believe that people are its most important asset, that the competitive advantage comes out of people operations. So that could be actually in a defense force where they're looking to actually really do a fantastic job at screening to get the right people down, or it can be in the large uh, primes actually uh, is another part uh, to this. And uh, how can people get in touch with you? So uh, david at curiousthing.io. <laughs> And by the way, I think a meerkat, why a meerkat? They're not found in Australia, by the way. That's the logo of the company. It's a curious thing. It's got a meerkat in the sea. Yeah, so, so we thought a koala bear looked pretty slow and silly. <laughs> so a meerkat, we actually looked for the most intelligent, interested animal that we could find. And actually, meerkats stand out. Yeah. David McKeague of uh, Curious Thing of Sydney, Thank fantastic. You. Pleasure meeting you. All the best and look forward to uh, some, someday getting grilled by your system. Thank you very much. Thank you.